Well, fuck. Hello, Internet! It's Vindican here for a little bit of Bit Dungeon 2, part 4, or some shit. Wait, oh, it's so weird when I move, like, the plants move. Whatever. But yeah, so we're back to Bit Dungeon after a little bit of break. I'm just like, hey, let's make some filler content because filler content. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna totally make this game, like, the new game. It's going to be, like, so amazing. Actually, don't, excuse me, I don't wanna do that. I wanna go and pick up my hot, dead girlfriend in my weird alien head. I don't mind being that dick, my soul, bloody blah, okay, whatever, so yeah, uh, for those who don't know, this is a game, it's like Dark Souls, you get to run around and be this little short guy and go to the fire to actually heal, it's like Dark Souls, but 2D, and it's really, really simplified, fast pace, like, I could pick up that, I could pick up that, and I can run around and cut people, and it'll all be good, so yeah, a lot of this is literally just random, so, yeah, like, I spawn, like, random at the beginning, I'm not OP as fuck at all, so, we'll see where this goes. A lot of button mashing for those who don't know. Everything's for the people who don't know because nobody's watched me play this. <laughs> I like how you can literally just get mobbed like the hell out of you and you're up. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we're going back. It's like Dark Souls, you die. But all you gotta do is simply just get up again and try. Isn't that so inspirational and shit? Probably should have healed before I got here or whatever. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go back. Like, legit, I want to make this game, like, totally, like, the meta. Like, everybody's got to play this game. I don't care what you say. I'm in love with you. You try to pull me away. But they don't know the truth. My hearts. I don't remember the line there. Okay. The problem with this game is that, like, everything has got, like, an auto-attack. So, like, I can just auto-attack these guys without even doing anything. Like, I'm not hitting the attack button at all. I'm just walking into them. How do I do that? Going to my home, these are the ruins of ghost magic. Well, how do I get them? Oh, I have to pay him for these, okay. Wait, can I just pick up any of them? Let's do strength. Can I switch them out? Oh no, I can only have one, damn it. Whatever, I have a rune. I didn't even know I could get those, honestly. Like, I've played this game, like, probably about 10 times through already. Well, not all the way through. 10 times I've died. You got the shit beaten out of me. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> A little bit, because I don't have a strong enough attack to take those guys out right now. One thing that, that is kind of awesome is that the map is the same. Which is good and bad. I mean, you get to like rememberize like rememberize rememberize where the game is. And all like the stuff, like there's six dungeons I know, and there's a dark world, and it's it's just a good old time. It's real simple, and I have a oh shit. Oh well. Where's my stats even? Take that real quick. The only thing I don't like is you have to like walk around. Oh okay, I'll take that. Yeah, I could play this level like an MMO if I wanted and just like run around with like the mouse and shit. Like I could, I could be like, whoa, pick up all the chests, open everything up. Well, it cost me, oh god, how much did that cost me to open? 300, Jesus, why did I open that chest? Whatever, we're on poor now, we're on the same, we're on the level playing field now. Actually, wait, I didn't give my character a name yet. I'm gonna call you, actually, you're gonna be Yurik, because you have like a skull face. So, Yurik gets to be in this game now. Yurik the Barbarian. Like, Dave the Barbarian, that was an awesome show. <laughs> Yurik doesn't use a katana. Yurik uses a badass axe. Actually, I want a two-handed axe kind of bad right now. I think the reason I like this is because it feels like Zelda, but, like, extremely fast-paced. <gasps> that seems better, right? Yeah, it's better. What I don't like is when you get weapons where, like, the buffs that they put on them, like, aren't as good. Because it's all random drops for, like, all this shit. So, like, you could get, like, uh... Is that better? No, it's not. You could get, like, an axe where, like, it's like, oh, it's gonna increase your spirit, like, what I got. But the problem is, it increases my spirit, but I don't use spirit for anything. <laughs> like, I, I only use strength, because my character, like, build and whatever. So, it's not really beneficial. Oh, the mountain maze, it's so hard. It's not like I know, like, the secret to this mountain. I'll give you a hint, it includes bushes. Shh. It's a secret to everyone. Oh, actually, I should go back the other way first. I think there's a chest back this way, or something. With loud keyboards. <gasps> What's in here? Oh, nice, I get upgrades. Or er, plus five, I thought they were like plus two before. But I'm not arguing with it. Don't argue with it. It's a game, it's a game. You have an axe. Yurik the Barbarian. Spinning axe of perishment. I think there's a chest down here, right? No, yes, no, yes. Yes. Yes, my pretty. A better shield that I'm probably not gonna use. Yeah, and spirit again, I don't need spirit. I have enough team spirit. I got team spirit, what about you? Oh god, I'm not trading that. I have to pay 300 coins for these. 
Actually, it probably would be a bad idea to get the hammer, seeing as all my equipment basically buffs my spirit. But I'm a barbarian, I do what I want. I'm the spinning axe of death and destruction, and what is this? I ain't using that shit. I'm a barbarian. I haven't found a dungeon. Oh, cool. Bonfire, like I needed it. I'm too cool for bonfires. <laughs> just walks up and just taps him one time. Oh, shit, I need that coin. Oh, well. I think this is the. Oh, ancient depths. I hate the. <laughs> ancient depths is a bitch. Last time I played it, this is where I died. So I'm not really looking forward to this. I'm having like PTSD. PDGD? Post traumatic gaming disorder. Yeah, <laughs> kill that guy. Silver key. Oh, actually, it was a potion, but I don't need it. That's the thing, there's always respawning rats. At least they try to like justify like why there's no other enemies rather than being like, yo, you killed them, but you didn't. It's more like, hey, you killed them, but now there's new enemies that you gotta kill. And they're like rats, so they never will stop spawning. <laughs> Dick. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm SpongeBob. I don't need water. Shit, we're mine some water right now. I am very thirsty from talking. Mine does suck if these dungeons actually have the exact same like pattern. Oh shit, I need the key. I need it. I need it. Where is it? It was very easy at the beginning. But, oh god, the difficulty spike if you don't level. Like, you basically have to kill everything you find, otherwise you're never gonna be able to level up fast enough. Okay, so for, like, all you out there, as a little tip, the black coins, they actually stay between runs, which is nice, so... If you wanna get into this game, you should totally, you know, play it along with me. Remember the guy who introduced you to it? Oh, okay. Yeah, what sucks is when you go through a dungeon and you don't press that one button. That's a terrible feeling. A very, very terrible feeling. Oh, heavy shield, I'll take that. A ring that I don't have. Yes! See, that's what I want. I want, I want a nice drop like that. Is it really that hard? I don't need it. I'm a boss. Actually, he's gonna be a boss, but we'll get to that later. It's like a... I don't even know what to call it. They seem like the like, rats of like the underworld is kind of what they seem like to me. Bone... <laughs> heavy bone... Wait, actually, wait. Is this magic armor I'm using? Or... No, 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 yeah. But it's... Uh, is it really that much better? Plus three strength? <sighs> no, it's not worth it. Because I would lose the armor, but I'd also get, like, the strength, like, buff, which would then increase my attack. But at the same time, I want to have, you know, like, the 10 armor. That's, like, really nice to have. Oh, wait. Oh, finally, I get a freaking tunic. You said majority of the game, you can just spend, like, with one party naked. The eater? That's like me. I eat. Don't I? Don't I get to be a boss? See, I am a boss. They will prepare. I just tank this guy if I want. Yeah, I kind of need to let my shit, like, redo it, so... Respawn its... Regenerate it? That's it, regenerate itself. Wait, here's how the rules change for, like, um, boss rooms. Like, some and it, like some weapons are actually, like, crazy good against bosses, you would think, but then, like, once you actually get in the room, like, they don't work that way. See, like, I can clip through him. There's, like, um... Ah, oh, what is it? Like, some... I think it's, like, the staff or some shit. Like, you can't actually shoot, like, fireballs in a boss battle, which is stupid. Like, that's what makes the staff good. Ha! There you go, that's the eater. So I just... I just killed, like, the boss version of myself. Oh, 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 Okay, let's go. Is he gonna spawn? There we go. Oh! Strong shield of power! Holy shit! Cleave of extra damage armor. Dude, that's boss as fuck. As you can see, it's got, like, the usual- Ah, shit. Oh, well. Well, that's one guy down. Let's do another one. That won't take long. Oh, this bastard, I hate him. He's like, I'm a assassin, asshole. When you kill me, you don't get much, but you can kill me. Hopefully I get his weapon, that'd be awesome. But I don't know what I get. Yeah, see, that's it. It's like, hey, you gotta fight me. And then I think it's just an experience bonus, and that's all it is. See, you gotta leave and just go to the bonfire again, because he's a little prick. Oh, you also gotta check your stats. 44 strength and 33 bonus damage like that. I think there's a dungeon this way. I'd be surprised if there wasn't. Yes! Okay, so this is the black church. This is the other place where I always die. So this has been a, gonna be a very, very traumatic day for me. My PTGD is gonna go off the charts by the time I'm done with this. Beggar's tunic. <laughs> Fuck that. You guys just get creepy in some part of the dungeons. <laughs> this game is so fun. Like, no skills required. You just run around and bitch. Bitch shit. Bitch shit. That's the word. Bitch at it. That's what you do. Where do I go from here? Down? You're a big boy, aren't you? You've been drinking your milk. I don't need it. I don't need it. 
You are creepy as hell. You look like you're coming out of like Warframe or some shit. Pricks. That's a key. And that's what I needed. That's just what I needed. Needed. Almost to the door. <laughs> so much running around in this game. <laughs> Die, you. Hell spawn. Actually, it probably is a hell spawn, to be honest. Or whatever. Another spawn. Uh, uh, uh. What the hell? I got <laughs> They look like they're, like, just priests, just, like, daggers. They're, like, running around, like, praying with the dagger. I wonder how this puzzle works. Oh, missed it. Damn it. There we go. I'm coordinated. Right? A brown drop. Sharp fire of the cross. Well, I'm not into that. I have a shield. I I'm a pro at this, if you didn't know. That's why I died at the way beginning of the game. This is a speedrun at its finest. I'm like Cosmo 2.0. He ain't don't got shit on me. He ain't don't. Yep. Is. I can speak English. Oh, I gotta do this again! And then we go up, and then we fight the boss. Level 9? Can I, like, level up for that, please? Oh, what are you? Hell yeah, it's dexterity, but I'll take that. I mean... Yeldebelf? Balf? I don't know how to speak that. A human can never reach the me through gnosis. Also, the bosses are kind of repetitive, but I don't care. I'm gonna make this game the greatest thing that happened since life bread. Holy shit. Oh, damn it. I was like, I am dodging this like a boss. Run like a motherfucker. You have like, you look like the one person in uh, Nikki. Ah, oh, what's it called? Little Nikki, that's it. I'm thinking of that. That movie's funny. You could all watch it. It's an Adam Sandler movie, so don't hate on it. It's a great movie. Like, how many things do you have coming out of your face? That's me flipping her off. I don't even know, so there's like a different tile on the bottom of the floor. It's like two crocodiles and a bat hugging a little Kangaskhan or some shit. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. We'll leave it there. Another shield! <laughs> Five cleave, 18. It's not really worth it. I mean, it's the same armor. Just that you don't get the extra damage to cleave, and I'd rather the cleave. And then go down, and then do not miss the chest. There we go. A ring of strength or spirit. Uh, I'll take the armor. All right. Before we end this episode, I love how you can do this. You just moonwalk, but only in the one direction. You can't do it the other way. So if I go this way and hit back, you moonwalk the wrong way. And I think it's also down and up. Yeah, down and up you can moonwalk. Yeah, I'm playing a yo-yo. Yoing, yoing, yoing. yoing. There we go. But yeah, so that's part four of uh, B B Bit Dungeon 2 with your favorite host, Vindikin. Oh, it even has a sound when I do that. Alright, we'll leave it at that. Have a good day.